Support companies that help support the Stony Ridge Farm. Subscribe to the channel and contact Farm Fence Solutions for all of your fence building and tornado wire needs. Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another awesome Tool Tuesdays here on the Stony Ridge Farm. And we've got a special guest here. This is Luke with Farm Fence Solutions and Luke has brought out a fence building machine that's beyond belief. So this is called the Protec Evo 360M. We're gonna take you guys around this. We're gonna talk about how it works. We can show you a little bit of footage. We'll drive a post, we'll dig a hole, we'll have some fun and show you this awesome tool for Tool Tuesdays here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Thanks for being here. Here, Luke. Thanks for having me. Heck yeah, man. Free to work. I ain't afraid to play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. So Luke, again, thanks a lot for being here on the Stony Ridge Farm with us. Luke has been helping me along the way, building the fences here on the farm. And if you've never been to the channel, this is a first generation farm operation, a cattle operation that is, there was nothing here before. I mean, you've seen it take shape here. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, we've got somewhere in the neighborhood of three and a half miles of fence and probably have about two more miles of agricultural fence, woven wire, uh, tornado wire to put in. Uh, Luke is, the guy that supplies the wire to everybody tornado wire right yep okay and you're also uh, you have a partnership with protec is that right that's right yep. okay so farm fence solutions out of worthington indiana one eight 84448 fence. Ah, that's it. 184448 fence. So if you're interested in picking up a tool like this or any fence building tools, check out farmfencesolutions.com. Luke is just a fountain of knowledge and Leslie, his wife, helps run the business too. It's just really awesome uh, what you guys have built over the last few years. I've seen your business grow and you've seen my farm it's grow. It's been pretty neat. Yeah. Absolutely. So at the end of this video, I will post a link to the ProTech factory. We actually went to the factory about two and a half, three years ago. I mm -hmm. uh, went down to the factory in Gloucestershire, England. Is That's that right? right? Yep. And uh, got to see these things being made. Now, these are being built in England and also they're, you guys are starting to build them in Indiana. Is that right? Yeah, we actually have, uh, have started with uh, ProTech in the UK. We've started ProTech USA and uh, have built a, a new assembly uh, facility in Worthington. It's, it's on the same property as Farm Fence Solutions, but awesome. uh, we now build all the skid steer attachments Awesome. Uh, at our place. Yep. Very cool. We're going to let Luke do all the talking. He's going to walk us around the machine. I might ask him a few questions and you guys ask him questions too. Thanks, Josh, for having me back again on the Stony Ridge Farm. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, all the hospitality you always give us. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is a post driver? And what is uh, the Micro 360 in particular? And what does it do different from other post drivers? Well, uh, we had a kind of a brainstorm that we needed a, a viable solution for fencers that were what we call all-rounders. So say you did some ag fencing, and you do some residential work, and you do some commercial work. This particular machine uh, comes down into a size uh, that'll actually fit through a four-foot gate. It's only 46 inches wide, but both of the tracks extend to make it more stable when it's in the driving configuration, but it will fit into tighter places. Not only that, but it's got the power to drive a, a wood post. We can put a 12 foot, eight inch uh, farm style post in the ground with it as well. Uh, commercial chain link, any of that type of work can be done with this machine. It'll drive dimensional posts. We've got all kinds of jigs and post turners, uh, profile uh, punches to punch a, a, a four by four, six by six hole. So it's a, it's a perfect all round machine for that fence company that does a little bit of everything. And that was our goal when we designed it. So we'll start back here at the controls, uh, kind of walk you through the basics of this machine. Uh, it is a uh, mechanical uh, Yanmar three cylinder, so it's got really fast throttle response. Uh, you, there's no DPF or uh, diesel exhaust fluid, nothing, none of that to worry about. It is tier four compliant, so it's a, it's a legal engine, of course, uh, but we've got single speed tracking, which is from this location. And then obviously uh, each of these operates a function on the post driver. You've uh, had a look at the, uh, how the turntable and why we call it the 360, uh, because it rotates 360 degrees. We can operate the driving function or the digging function from any position around the machine. The mast is uh, capable of a 12 foot post, so you can get a 12 foot post under it with still a little bit of driving height, which is uh, primarily for the commercial industry. So a lot of uh, you know, 
commercial chain link fence that's tall, like a, an eight foot with three barb on it, uh, it's all gonna be 12 foot posts. So we had to, had to make it fit that guy uh, as well as the ag fencer. Uh, this machine, we've got a 325 kilogram drop weight on it. It handles it beautifully. We started with a 250 on it and it did a great job, uh, but it's just so stable uh, that more weight was the right answer. It's, uh, there's no replacement for displacement. More horsepower is always better. Uh, this uh, telemast extends all the way to the ground so you can drive a post all the way to the surface. You, if you wanted to dig a hole, you could actually drive it subgrade. Uh, it'll go down below grade. Uh, you've got a wide range of tilts. The uh, auger drive is actually a, that's a pock lane final drive. Uh, got plenty of torque for digging through rock. This is just a basic uh, kind of a fracturable rock or hard, hard clay type of a bit. But this swings directly in underneath the weight. And so uh, say you had to drill through a rock or a pilot hole, uh, you're drilling it straight in, you swing it out of the way, and there's no need to move the, the uh, machine. You're already lined up on that hole where your post needs to be. This is the prototype machine. And so we're um, making some small design changes as we put this into more fence builders' hands uh, to give it a really good test. And it's been in several, several guys' hands. This machine's got about 100 hours on it. Uh, but we put a, a small winch on it. That's not really a wire stretching type of a winch. That's maybe if we got stuck to help get the machine out. Uh, they are really well balanced. And usually if you've got a track spinning on one side, you can move the weight around. And so getting stuck is really not an issue. Uh, but we thought it would be good to have just in case. We could put a bigger winch on uh, either side, but it would probably be in place of the blade if you didn't need the blade. Standard is a toolbox, a lockable toolbox. In this, we keep some rock spike parts. Uh, obviously, you could put anything you needed in there. Uh, eight gallons of fuel. We've gone to uh, multiple bulkhead fittings on this machine, so it's, it's, uh, it's really more refined uh, than many of the machines in the past. Uh, it's a, a way larger uh, frame on what we call the telearm. So even though it's got a foot that you can put down, this machine's stable enough and it doesn't, it doesn't bounce at all with that big boxy uh, telearm assembly. This is a three-cylinder Yanmar 24 horsepower diesel, uh, tier four compliant. Uh, we're running uh, Pock Lane hydraulic pumps and final drives, uh, so well-known, uh, reputable source. The blade uh, could be used to dig in, say, an underground lead-out wire. Uh, there's something in the line of your, your fence row, a piece of something that's too heavy to move, you can use it, but it's primarily there for stability. So uh, on a hill, say it was wet and slick and the machine's running away from you, that's a good way to stop things. Uh, the rubber tracks, you get on frozen ground especially, things get slick. On the front, uh, this is a tool carrier and it is a quick attach, so we can build any attachment to go on this quick attach, but this lifts up and down. Uh, in here, we've got some of our profile punches, uh, a uh, post rotator, that's a hydraulic post rotator, the wood post cap, some bigger augers. We can run up to a 12 inch auger on this machine. Obviously, the goal is to, to uh, drive all the post. Uh, Easy to uh, service, the, the hood opens right up both sides, uh, so it's easy to get to the fluids, uh, check hydraulic oil, change the oil, service things, whatnot. Uh, key switch is here, and then uh, this is all the uh, fusing and electronics are in this locked box. We've got dual uh, emergency kill switches here, and then at the operator station, as well as park brake, uh, throttle control, auger drives and then the light switches back here as well. So basically what we have here in the ProTech 360 Micro uh, is the Swiss Army knife of fencing machines. I think that's enough talk. Let's drive a post. Let's what do, do you think? It. Let's yeah. get some posts Let's in knock the something in the ground. <laughs> So this machine being a prototype, uh, we didn't put everything on it that would go on to most, most of our machines. Uh, auto level is an option on all the Evos, and basically that's an electronic uh, inclinometer that you just basically press a button and the mast levels. Uh, once the mast is level, you just plumb the post to the mast and you know that you're good to go. So we're going to show you uh, how we drive a post with this machine. It's obviously springtime at the Stony Ridge Farm, so it's not really hard, but uh, some good clay dirt here, we'll punch one in.
and obviously we can drop the telemast and we can drive that post all the way into the ground and really leave Josh a mess to clean up later. <laughs> Luke, so I have one question for you. I see this is rope up here. Why use rope versus cable? Well, a cable will fatigue and wear out. Uh, and this rope is like a Dyneema product that uh, it doesn't have any stretch to it. It's, I think the brake load on that is something like a quarter of a million pounds. Uh, and it just it lasts forever until you get into, say you got into some tree limbs and frayed it. It'll just, it'll keep on keeping on for years. So guys, that's a post driver. That's how it works. That is the ProTech Evo 360 from ProTech USA. That's now. right. Yep. Right on. So right out of Worthington, Indiana. If you guys have any questions or anything, please post them down in the comment section. I also have a ProTech P240. Is that that's right? right. Yep. Luke has let me borrow that. We're going to run that on the little skid loader here on the farm. We're going to start knocking post in for the next leg of fencing videos. So be awesome. Yeah. Come and join us. Luke will be back in a, about a month and a half or so, and he'll help me pull the wire and get everything straight. And we got a lot of work to do. So. Bunch. Yeah, thanks for coming, brother. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. We got to sit back and relax a little bit. It's Sunday afternoon, right? Time for a steak. <laughs> time for a steak. See you next time. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> claps. <laughs> claps. Thanks claps. Yeah. Hey there, folks. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> yep, a little, little, it's late in the day. Okay, here we go. Attention. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>